The siege imposed by Kurdish contrast known as Syrian Democratic Forces SDF on the areas controlled by the Syrian Arab Army in the cities of Hasake and Qamishli has entered its fourth week, with the continued prevention of food, fuel and flour from reaching these areas. The SDF tightened its blockade by restricting civilians wishing to enter and leave these areas, including school buses, from transporting students, which led to the inability to start the second semester in public schools. Syrians in Hasake and Qamishli are also living in complete darkness at night due to the running out of fuel used for operating electricity generators and the restriction of grid electricity to only one hour per day. As a result, scores of people are taking to the streets on a daily basis in marches that roam the streets of the cities of Hasake and Qamishli towards the Kurdish contrast checkpoints in an attempt to break the siege and open the roads. The Syrian Democratic Forces, however, confronts these moves by firing bullets in the air, dispersing the protesters by force, reiterating their refusal to open the roads to secure the movement of civilians between the two cities. Kurdish Contra's affiliated media are justifying the siege imposed on the cities of Kamishli and Hasake as being a response to the Syrian Arab Army's siege of the Ashrafi and Sheikh Maqsud neighborhoods and the town of Tal Rifat in the Aleppo Governorate. An accusation which the Syrian government denied it even existed in Aleppo, stating that the life is operating normally in Aleppo and its countryside, adding that Damascus believes that the Kurdish Contras are making up these accusations with the single aim of implementing foreign agendas as per directors from the American occupation. Welcome to the Mideast Stream, Amar Osman.